Welcome back to Best Aussie Booze News and Reviews and you are suddenly all my people, my people. So tonight we are going to look at sake, my very first sake, I think. If I'm wrong, it's a couple hundred of years ago. So sake is Japanese rice wine. Okay, it tops out at about the same percentage as wine. If you distill it, it's called shoju. So this is a organic sake, certified organic. Uh, the Americans have looked at it and said, yep, okay. It's organic, we've gone through the processes. Now Junmei is a dry sake. There is no sound of happiness because it's a screw top. The smell of happiness says, even in a relatively warm room, um, there's not a lot happening. This is really, if you want a non-smelly non um, non uh, sake, this is the one to go looking at. And in terms of the taste of happiness goes, there's not a lot of that happening either. Um, it really is a very, very drinkable, as in it's got no challenging flavours in it, sake. I have, in my much younger years, drank this stuff called Gekikan, and Gekikan was just, still gives me horrors. It was amongst the first sake I ever drank. 40 years ago, I was drinking Gekikan in North Queensland, and that was the only sake that was there. If I had been drinking this stuff, I wouldn't have stayed away from sake so long. So yeah, the label, which I've read a couple of times, says you drink it cold, so or you know room temperature, which is what I'm doing, or if you really want to, just warm it up a little bit, but don't warm it up too much. I think it is going to go really well in a whole lot of um, cocktails, should this actually be around for long enough to actually have that happen so thank you for watching people my people i've got noises at my door that subscribe button thanks catch ya